There's concern tonight that a change at the D.C. Fire Department may hurt communication in an emergency. Uh, some fear that the problem could cause a scenario much like the confusion in the moments after the September 11th attacks. D.C. Bureau Chief Sam Ford is in Northwest Washington with uh, what's being done about this. Sam? Marine fire departments in Montgomery and Prince George's in Maryland and Arlington in Virginia have expressed alarm at D.C.'s talk of encrypting fire communications to the point that one Montgomery official said that his units would not come into the city under mutual aid if they could not communicate. Reaction to the city's plans have been overwhelmingly negative. Assistant Arlington Fire Chief Joe Rochetta showed us his radio program for D.C. Fire as well as his Arlington channels. I could call D.C. right now and no they problem. would answer me. No problems right. whatsoever. But that may be about to change as D.C. talks of encrypting fire channels. A decision has been made to soon begin the encryption of tactical channels only after the proper technology is in place. Even the encryption of tactical channels concerns Arlington and other neighbors. It could be a serious concern for us, yes. Rochetta remembers Arlington's largest fire in history, the Pentagon attack on 9-11. Communication with D.C. wasn't a problem, but it was from other mutual aid departments, and the regions worked to fix that. There were some jurisdictions that came over here that could only talk with their own units. We couldn't talk to them. They couldn't talk to us. Now everybody's on the same platform, and there's interoperability between many jurisdictions. The fear is D.C.'s plan will reverse the clock. The city points to last September's Navy Yard murder, saying the killer could possibly have learned things by listening to unencrypted fire radio communications. The city's fire union, however, sees this mass encryption as an overreaction. I think everybody needs to pump the brakes for a second and uh, make sure we're on the same page, given especially 9-11 is tomorrow, and that was a huge problem on that day in 2001 radio interoperability. The D.C. Union says the fire department already has an encrypted channel and had one last September. And they chose not to use it. Deputy Mayor Paul Quander, who is in charge of these matters, was out of town today. Police encrypted their radio some years ago. Uh, D.C. Uh, Quander, uh, Deputy Mayor Quander's office says that it will be spelling out its plans for encryption at a meeting of fire chiefs at the Council of Governments, which is scheduled for next week. Reporting live from Northwest Washington, Sam Ford, ABC 7 News. Thank you, Sam. The 9-11 Commission recommended a nationwide emergency radio system upgrade because of the communication problems at the Pentagon and at Ground Zero in New York on 9-11. To date, the Department of Homeland Security has allocated more than a billion dollars to emergency agencies at the local level. Another $7 billion is being spent on a national system. The nation's remembrance of 9-11 continues on WJLA.com. It includes a new honor for the family members of those killed in the Pentagon at the World Trade Center and on United Flight 93. We have also posted a video of a U.S. astronaut who was in outer space on the day of the attacks.